information. Weather from where you live. Well, we may get two days this week that are at or above 100 degrees. And we haven't seen that since 1934 around here. Now, if you look back at the years with the greatest number of 100 degree days in June in West Lafayette, we had five in 1934, three in 1930, 31 and 33, two in 1895 and 1913. And if again, if we hit 100 on Friday, 2012 would be there as well. And we had one in 1910, 1923, 44, 52 and 1988, but I did notice in this data set there were a lot of June days that did hit 99. But if you look back since 1887, we've only had 23 days in June that have been 100 or greater. And again, we'll probably get two out of this June in 2012. Notice all the heat advisories, excessive heat warnings, fire weather watches and warnings all through the Midwest and Plains, all the rain or most of the rain is way, way north here in central Canada. These are fire weather warnings to the west and the kaleidoscope of colors is not necessarily a good thing. It's just fire and heat here in the Midwest and in the southern U.S. as well as so we see many, many states at or above 100 tomorrow and that will continue into Friday as well. All right, tonight though, uh, looks pretty good. You know, it, it is warm, but still the air is dry and that'll be the case tomorrow morning. It's not necessarily going to be that muggy 67 at 6. New 95 degrees, the wind kicking up and really critical fire danger tomorrow with 103 a south to southwest wind up to 35 miles an hour and you combine that with the low relative humidity and the dry abundant fuels and yeah, that fire danger way up tomorrow. But the humidity, thankfully, again, low. 67 tonight, Winnemac, Monticello, Lafayette. 64 Kokomo in Atlanta and a 68 Morocco. A little warmer in the northwest. That's where there will be, there will be a little more wind, not as much wind in our southeast. And there's the really hot day tomorrow. Record breaking heat pretty much area wide. And for some of you, this will be the hottest day either since 1988, 1934, or the hottest day on a record period. Rochester will probably beat their all time June record with 106, as will Perrysville, 103 Lafayette, 105 at Monticello, and 102 at Morocco, 103 at Camden. Slightly cooler Friday. There'll be a very weak front sinking in from the north and the northeast. That 96 to 102, 102 Perrysville, 100 Lafayette, 98 at Logansport. Now, the models want to crank a storm or two along this front on Friday. I'm still a little reluctant to go with that because I think the dew points or the humidity will be pretty low and we're still going to have a strong cap. I hope that changes, but it, it just looks like it's going to be hard to get any storm to go. There goes that weak front. So we cool down, if you will, the 94 Saturday and Sunday, but we'll be back to 96 Monday, 100 Tuesday, 98 on Independence Day. We actually may have our hottest 4th of July in some places since 1911 and we're back to 101 on Thursday as the heat builds back in and it stays way above normal temperature wise and way below normal rainfall wise. Really, it, you know, this could go on for a long time. We could deal with this most of the time into late July. This pattern's not going to break anytime soon. Well, that's too bad because it is hot and especially with those breezes. We felt